Hello YouTube land, my name is Castlecaden and today we are bringing you an episode of Minecraft 1.4.6. This tutorial specifically will deal with how to create a villager farm. Now for many of you, when you actually find an NPC village, you probably wouldn't actually want to, you know, create a villager farm in the village. You'd want to bring them to your special area. So to do that, seeing as villagers can only travel up to 16 blocks away from their village, what you'd want to do is stick them in a minecart. Now, pushing them can be a little tedious, I know, but once you actually get them to the minecart, they will stay in there until their destination. So let's, uh, you know, just shove them in here. Shove, shove, there we go. So now that we have the villager in the minecart, we can actually transport him to our location. However, one of the ways to do this is to have a lot of rail or Seeing as this is going to be near the end of the line, what you want to do is destroy the rail behind you and then replace those blocks ahead. And just keep on doing that until you reach your final destination. Oops. There we go. So let's just continue to push him along. I actually created a bit of an area specifically for this, and once we actually get them him to the area, I will just, you know, not worry about the other villager, I'll just spawn another villager. However, you do need a couple of villagers for this, so do be prepared to actually make a trek back just to get another one. Alternatively, now that we are in Minecraft 1.4.6 or any other version that's coming out after that, what you can alternatively do actually is create some zombies. The zombies have a chance, mind you, a slight chance, but a chance to spawn as a zombie villager. Now, what that will allow you to do is you'll actually be able to cure the zombie villagers from the zombieism, so you can actually create villagers that way. Actually, that was a bad idea. I'm just going to create one over here for now, just because the sun's going down soon. Um, but yes, as you can see, these are the walls, or the, you know, whatever those are called. Cobblestone walls. That is also in a new update. Anyways, so let's get started on the main aspect, the criteria of a house. Basically, the door does define the house. It's as simple as that. And it's a weird way of thinking about it, but really, once it comes down to it, it's actually understandable, kind of. Now, although the floor isn't necessary, I am actually just going to floor this up with a uh, birch wood plank. Just for my own style and touch, it's nothing really else other than that. What you'd want to do is create a simple little square. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. And basically, you'd want to set it up like this. And as it's uh, getting dark, I will actually go sleep in my bed. You can see my insides. All right, now that we're done with that, what we'll want to also do, again, I'm just changing this due to the fact that, you know, I like to be aesthetically pleasing, but you don't have to. Um, a roof isn't important or necessary. However, it does help, especially when it comes to things like rain or snow. It won't force the villagers out of their houses, which can be a bit problematic. So we will create that and we'll also create a bit of a roof. So the villagers do not freak out. And this is also the proper way to do a roof when it comes to creating NPC village houses. You'd also then want to put the doors all the way around. Now, eventually what will happen is that your villager will walk into the house, which is perfect. It's what you'll want it to do. He's coming back this way. He sees the house. Come on, come on. I know I'm forcing you, but too bad. I don't care. Get in there. Actually, what we'll want to do is wall that up for now. Let's see if a villager actually accepts the house. I'm going to spawn one inside. Actually, I'll spawn a few inside.
As a test to see if this will actually work, what I'm going to do is actually push the villager out of the range, just to see how he will react to me pushing him out of the range of his house. As you can see, he begins to walk back towards it. The other villagers are also hovering around the house as well. In the meantime, I also actually place these doors back as I realized it doesn't actually really matter at this point, so hey, why not, right? Right. What I'll also want to do, again, temporarily, is just to include some torches everywhere. I know it's not necessarily important, however, I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So, again, continuing on with this method, because we are going for the most spawnability of a house, what you'll want to do is just keep on building onto this. Oops. And what will end up happening is eventually the villagers will actually start to, uh, you know, make babies. I'm just going to fast forward this part for now. Alright, so here we have it. As we have finished off this whole entire thing, it took me maybe about five or so minutes. It'll take a little bit longer if you're on survival, which is understandable. But let's go look around. I hear... Oh, there we are. We have a little one already. So this is basically kind of like the layout that you'd want. And all that's required really to get a large amount from here is just time. Just time. That's pretty much it. And let's say if you actually want to exit this, what I would do is create blocks right here. So they're two blocks away from the wall. So you can actually just sprint jump across. Because if you do one, then the villagers could potentially, you know, get smart enough to climb up there and then try to jump off. I have seen that before, so do be careful. But okay, so again, some of the criteria of actually creating a house, although you guys have seen me create a roof, you've seen me use lights, lights and roofs aren't important. Roofs are only important if there is rain, and if there is rain, then chances are your villagers will try to run away from the house to another house that actually has a roof. So that's that. Let's see, villagers will, you know, they'll attempt to squeeze into the closest house to them but eventually they'll try to end up spreading out. So just keep that in mind. The Again, the villager pathfinding is only about 15 blocks away from their originating door. So just again, keep that in mind as well. So to put it bluntly, although yes, you can get away with just doors after a while, it doesn't exactly constitute a house. What you'd want is the whole layout. And here, I mean, You'd actually be able to get a lot of villagers spawning, which is really nice. A couple of nights in here, and you'll have like 10 or 15 of them. So just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, that's about it for that. This is how to create a very simple villager farm. Again, you'd want to block this off, and you'll want to create these little steps so that you can sprint jump across. I hope this has been helpful in how to actually create a bit of a villager farm. All right, I let a bit of time go by and uh, looks like our villager farm seems to be doing quite well. Oh, the door clickety clacketing and opening and closing. That will, might actually drive you crazy. So what you might want to do actually is turn down the sound when going towards your village. Ooh, I got a golem more babies so you know just look around and see if there's anything here that you might like trading this is how you actually create a villager farm especially good if you can actually find a good system for it Ooh, here's a nice one one emerald can equal three glowstone now if you find a good way to get emerald hint hint i will be creating a emerald farm tutorial next episode so do stay tuned for that you can actually pretty much get anything you want for free yeah pretty much anyway i hope this has been a good tutorial for you guys keep in mind i will be doing a emerald farm tutorial next so do stay tuned for that do check my feed and my channel it will be in there it really really will so, until next time guys, this has been Kestel Caden, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me. Until next time, have fun.